3.6 million dollars. That's how much the city of El Paso is paying to buy the El Paso Times printing press facility. Which means City Hall will have more room. El Paso City Council today voted unanimously to make that purchase. ABC 7's Rachel Phillips joins us live now from the building. Rachel. Hey there, Eric. Well, just to put things in perspective, this is the El Paso Times building, and then just over here is City Hall. Now, the El Paso Times press printing services have now been moved to Juarez, which has given the city the chance to expand. So with this purchase of 2.25 acres, the city will now own this entire lot of land. Right now, the city leases this specific breezeway from Gannett, the parent company of the El Paso Times. The city currently pays $72,000 a year for the space and have been doing so since they purchased the city hall part of the building back in 2013. The city says this cost and the opportunities the extra space provides are big reasons for why they want to purchase the rest of the building. One example right now is that our office for uh, the taxing, the taxing office is right now at Wells Fargo. We could potentially bring that into this facility. We could expand the existing services that we have here. Now, the city says that Gannett will pay for any damages done when they move the press printing services out of this building. I reached out to Gannett for a comment on this, but they did not get back to me by the time of this newscast. I also asked the city the time frame of when they will finalize this purchase. At this stage, they weren't able to give me a date. For now, putting live from downtown, Rachel Phillips, ABC7. All right, Rachel.